So there is two Valsky Von videos that have been uh, <clears throat> that ha uh, have been on the my feed that I, I wanted to check out here, and one of them is that the news, the surprise news. There's a surprise within the surprise for Bluey, and that is that there's still new episodes being released. And what am I talking about? Well, let Valsky Von give the little details. It's back. It's back. But the final episode of Bluey's third season was titled Surprise, and it felt like an epilogue to the entire series. Mm -hmm. If the show was going to end, this seemed like a pretty good way to do that. With yes. Bluey wondering what it would be like to have kids, we see a flash forward to the future where that then reality the future came, came out. Hello? Huh. No one. Drink. That's Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> the world of the show has grown up, and we can't go back to the way things were, right? Wrong! More Bluey is on the way. It just might not be what you think. Welcome to Bluey Minisodes. Minisodes. The new Minisodes are a collection of funny and sweet moments for the Healer family. There will be some new characters alongside fan favorites, including Unicorse, Nana, the and Unicorse. Bar Healer. He's with Dad getting back. a tattoo, and even a special look inside Bluey and Bingo's dream house from Escape. The mm. first First mm. batch of Bluey minisodes, written by Bluey creator Joe Brum, and produced by the Emmy and BAFTA award-winning team at Ludo Studio, will air on ABC in June for audiences in Australia, followed by Disney later in the summer. All mm. minisodes will be available to watch on the Bluey website and official Bluey YouTube channel later this year. Damn, so, so now everyone gets to watch it. Like, if you don't have Disney Plus, well, you're in luck. You can watch it on ideas. YouTube. They're a bite-sized batch that work as a dessert to the third season, which is better than nothing, right? And because the post mm. specifically mentions first batch of minisodes, we can assume more is on the way. But mm -hmm. with this announcement, there's still the question of what the heck comes next? Will Bluey continue with a traditional fourth season? Or will the show well, they're go through talking some about kind of that. evolution? I don't know. But here's what we do know. The crew is on break. They've gone on record saying they needed time off because this isn't the kind of show where you can mindlessly crank out episode after episode. True. Bluey reflects our our world and the complications in it so the mm. writing can't be rushed the yes. franchise isn't over far from it but this hiatus could be what the show needs to stay fresh anyway what do you think about bluey taking on a shorter format which characters do you want to see let's talk in the comments well i know that a lot of people like wanted to see like these certain characters because obviously like we like Obviously, the Nana and Bob, which obviously are the grandparents uh, of Blue and Bingo. Like, I know that we only got to see a little parts of them. And some people really wanted to see, like, what else? Like, like is there more stuff uh, surrounding these characters? And luckily, there is going to be more um, talks about them. And also, what I really want to see is uh, the life that's after uh, the marriage for... Um, Frisky and uh... ah damn I already forgot the name uh but Frisky and her partner um then now that they got married like how is married life going do they have a kid uh also Brandy like I want to see her um her like mini sewed and where she actually has her kid and how she's going with that mother life now. Um, there's also a bunch of, like, characters that I kind of want to see, like, their, um, their future lives of what's going on. Because we, we were able to see more into Bluey's, like, future saying, like, well, in the future, she's going to have a kid. And also Bingo, um, the parents of Bluey and Bingo are going to become this and they're gonna be like that um we already saw rusty's um future where he's gonna be a famous player um there's a bunch of other stuff that we've seen but i kind of want to see the extras finally get their shine in these minisodes and explain and also them having their little adventures like i know bluey is important but also the side characters also because they're very good and I want to uh, see more of the side characters and see what their lives are like. Um, but there's also another one that obviously Valsky um pointed out. And that is this that I didn't even know. Streaming services are becoming one. I feel sick. 
and I saw on one of his latest posts that the era of streaming another three companies are also people. trying but to come problem. together. We're a few years into this mess, and the cracks are starting to show. As prices of individual streaming services rise, consumers are less willing to pay for all of them. We're paying just as much now as we did for cable, which yes like here's the thing um obviously i will i would admit that i am part of like this like whole situation where um obviously i wanted to check out some animes um my family wanted to check out some movies that were probably not going to be shown on cable so we got this platform and then obviously with um another platform that i have uh, i was given this for free so i was given uh, another uh, place to watch shows uh, for free but with ads and then there was also one thing that my sibling wanted to watch and obviously like I also got that extension as well so it was kind of going into the same route that like what I was expecting for like a bill payment is kind of the same amount that I would have been paying if I were getting cable as well and this is the whole situation that's going on of like the whole they're becoming one and then Vosky I'm pointing out that also Netflix, uh, Apple TV, and Peacock want to join together as well and make their sums as one. And obviously there's problems with that. Well, let's see if Vosky Bum explains on that. defeats the entire purpose. There there's you go. There's a solution though. The massive competitors are putting their differences aside and teaming up to form a capitalistic bond unlike any other. Okay. Warner Bros. Discovery and Disney just made a deal to combine three of the biggest streaming services on the block. Disney mm. Plus, Hulu, and now Max. Each library will stay separate, but you'll have access to every title from the services all in one place. Think of okay. it like a Disney Plus Hulu bundle, but now with Max added to the mix. Look at all that. You're all yeah. on the same page. The power of two. While the in exact one. price hasn't been announced, it'll be cheaper than if you buy each streaming service individually. No. True. But, like, obviously if we're going into, like, this route, it, like, I know that, like, if you were to have Hulu, or, I mean, if you were to have Disney, you'll be, you'll be able to go into, like, the Hulu section. Uh, I think it's vice versa. If you also have Hulu, you, you could also see the Disney Plus version or stuff like that. And if not, then obviously, uh, I'm kind of hoping that in the future, if they're actually going into this pa uh, path, that they actually have, like, a platform that could get all at all, all in one instead of just like being oh i have to sign into my hulu in order to watch this um like if i don't have my disney plus account i have to go on my hulu or if i don't have a a hulu account i have to go on my disney plus like stuff like that like make it like come accessible that was i, was, I said compatible I, make it accessible for the people to actually just sign into one thing and be able to see from those three platforms all in one not only that, but the corporations are offering ad-supported and ad-free plans, so you'll have a choice. Warner Bros. Discovery's J.B. Perrett, CEO and President of Global Streaming and Games, added, This new offering delivers for consumers the greatest collection of entertainment for the best value in streaming, and will help drive incremental subscribers and much stronger retention. Offering this unprecedented entertainment value for fans across all the complementary genres these three services offer presents a powerful new roadmap for the future of the industry. Mm. Now this unstoppable streaming combo is meant to fight back against some of the other names like Netflix or Paramount Plus. It makes the decision true, 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 true. easier for consumers and that's where the cash money lies. Why pay so much for every streaming service when you can cough oh, up a okay. smaller amount for some of the most well known instead? This also feels like the inevitable path for streaming in the future. Don't be surprised if even more combo deals pop up. Which obviously goes with that post that he was already talking about that Netflix, Apple TV, and Peacock are starting to work together as well to become one whole bundle. That is starting to get worrisome. No way. We've come full circle. History is repeating itself as yep. it feels like we're going back to cable. But what do you think about all this? Is it a good strategy? Let's talk in the comments. Well, I guess in one path it, it is a good strategy because like you don't want to be paying like let's say uh if you have three streaming services and they're both like 15 dollars like you're going to be paying almost like 50 dollars like per month like you don't want to be doing that like at least get one whole combo that's like 30 bucks like stuff like that 
Um, but it all just depends because it is going all over again into cable. So if it does go into cable again, <laughs> like how one person said, this is literally becoming uh, like a Captain America reference in <laughs> Civil War 2.0, but now it's streaming services. <laughs> or cable 2.0. I love the comments of that. Um, but awesome. 